Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the Begin series. And today what we're going to do is a 25 minute glute workout. We are going to really work on that fanny. So we're going to do a couple of activities that are going to add dumbbells and some activities we're going to do with just some body weight on the mat. So you're going to need a mat. Um, I am using a elevated surface that you can use a chair, a couch, an ottoman, and if you don't, I'll show you how to modify, but if you can grab that, that would be great. We're gonna do one activity off of that, but don't forget to sweat towel drink, and of course, your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so I'll be a chance to grab all your mat, your sweat towel drink, and your great attitude. If so, let's get warmed up. We'll start with just, oh man, some big movement in those hips right there. And then let's go the other direction. Big circles on those hips. Oh yeah. We're gonna hinge down and we're gonna hinge back. Ooh yeah. Hello hips, hello hamstrings. Two more. A last one. Let's twist to each side and drive those hips up and twist. Okay, we want that trunk moving. Two more. Last one, this time we're gonna kick that leg out straight and twist, boom. Boom, boom, two more. Last one, oh yeah. Let's squat and down, okay? Just moving those legs, activating everything for three, two. Last one, this time let's stay low and let's try to open up those hips. Oh yeah, right there. We've got three more like this, two more. Last one, down, and we're gonna try to straighten those knees. Come low, try and straighten those knees. Two more just like that. Last one. This time stay low. I want to twist open and unlock that thoracic spine, rotating up towards that ceiling. Nice good twist. One more on each side. And then we're gonna take those hands and we're gonna put them right there on those knees. And we're gonna do a cat and cow. In and out. In and out. For three. Two. Last one, and then we're gonna open up those hips and we're gonna drive that shoulder to the opposite knee. Ooh, that always feels so good, right? <laughs> oh yeah, we got one more on each side. Boom, open that up. Oh yeah, come on up. Okay, we're gonna take those and we're gonna go nice, good hip circle. Up, over, and back. One more. Now we're gonna go the other direction. Up, and over. Last one. Other side, we're gonna come up, over, and back. Woo! Working on that balance if you need to. Hold on to the couch and touch point. Okay, challenge yourself, but make sure you stay safe. The other direction. Oh yeah. Okay, and then I want you to touch the wall or the couch. You're gonna do just a couple of swings right here, right back and forth. Two more just like this. Last one, and then the same thing, but we're gonna go side to side, big swings. Moving that hip. Oh yeah and then the other side, okay? Again, you can try it without, but if you need to, be close so that you stay stable. Big swings. And then we're going in and out. Boom, boom, boom. This time we're gonna take the foot flex, knee straight, and we're gonna drive that heel back and squeeze that glute right there. Two more, just like that. Now we're gonna bend that knee and we're gonna push through our heel again, squeezing that glute. Two more. Last one, same thing on the other side. Foot flex, drive from that heel, knee is straight. Squeeze that glute, three more, two more. Last one, bend that knee and push through. Three, two, last one. Okay, let's talk about what we're gonna do. We're gonna work for 40 seconds, 10 second break, twice through. First activity, we're gonna take some weights. We're gonna hinge through that hip, like we're gonna pretend like there's a pull right through our hip and we're hinging right here. Okay, I'm not rounding my back. My back is staying nice and neutral. I'm going right there. I'm gonna keep my knees straight. I'm gonna open that chest. I'm gonna let those weights go down. As soon as I feel that tension on those hamstrings, I'm gonna push back and it's all gonna be from that squeezing that glute. Coming down and driving from that hip. Start in a lighter weight and as you build, build up on that. Grab those dumbbells, roll those shoulders back. Here we go, three, two, one, slide that down. Now you may have more mobility than me and you may have less. Okay, keep that weight close to the body. Coming down and then driving from those hips. You start light 
And as you get that motion and that mo motion, then you start to build weight from there. Really make sure you understand the motion. It feels comfortable and you're feeling very confident in it. Coming down, drive from those hips open. Okay, keep that chest nice and open. Hinge down and back up. Oh yeah, right there. Woo, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We got one more set. Okay, adjust the weight when you need to. Open those, roll those shoulders back. Here we go. Three, two, one. Come down, hinge. Drive that back up. Hinge down. Drive that up. Okay, keeping that. If you start to feel that in your low back, that means your core can't handle it yet and you need to drop that weight. You need to listen to your body with that. Okay, drop the weight, that's okay. It's just telling you your body, you don't wanna injure yourself. Your body's just saying, I'm not there yet, okay? 15 more seconds. Then we're gonna use that elevated surface, okay? So if you have that, we're gonna do that next. Okay, here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so you do not have to do weight on the next activity, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right, keep our chest, our upper torso on, and you can put a light weight or no weight, and you're gonna come up, squeeze that glute, nice neutral position, come down. You're gonna keep that core engaged the whole time and squeeze that glute at the top. If you don't have that, you can do it right here. Squeeze at the top and back down. Okay, so we have, either way will work. Here we go, three, two, one. Lift up and squeeze that glute. Okay, I'm not arching my back. I'm coming into a nice neutral position, flattening that out and pushing through my entire foot and squeezing that glute at the top and then I'm controlling it down. I'm not flopping down, controlling it both directions. Nice job. Boom, squeeze at the top, control that down. You got this, boom. As you get better, you can put more weight on there, okay? It starts body weight, then it's light weight. Here we go, three, two, one, and rest. One more set like that, okay? Adjust the weight if you need to. You're doing awesome. Got round two, here we go. We've got three, two, one. Squeeze at the top, control that down. Squeeze at the top. Again, you're not dropping that. Okay, you're not letting go of everything. I want that core still engaged as you control that down. Okay, we're getting a lot of strength in that control down as well as up. Okay, you're halfway there. And it's the only activity we're doing off this elevated surface, okay? 15 more seconds. Nice work, you got this. Come on, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we are going to do a swing, okay? So we're gonna hinge down, okay, nice neutral spine, my weight's right between my knees, and I'm gonna drive up from my hips, okay? It is not a shoulder movement, the shoulder is guiding, it is from those glutes. So a nice neutral spine, hangs right there, I'm gonna drive from my hip and pop that open. As I drive that up, that's gonna naturally get that weight right to that eye level. Ready to try this? Okay, grab that dumbbell. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. I'm back. Driving from that and all the way up. Hinge down, pop it open. It is a hip thrust. Boom. That weight is guided by your shoulders, but it's not being lifted by your shoulders. It's being lifted from that thrust of that hip. Down and up. Boom. Come on, you got this. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Make sure it's not coming back behind you. It's staying right there in that neutral position, driving that up. Round two in three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, so I'm hinging down and then I'm driving it forward gonna pump that heart rate a little bit too. <laughs> Woo! Come on, drive that up and back down. Okay, 
halfway there. Oh yeah, you're doing a great job. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Ooh, catch that breath, right? Okay, this idea, we're gonna do a sumo deadlift. It's gonna be wide. Okay, I'm gonna hinge. My knees are gonna be bent. I'm gonna hinge down, and I'm still gonna thrust from my hip. So it's not a squat where I sit back. Okay, I'm gonna hinge down and drive, but it's wide. Right here, down and up. You ready to try that? Here we go, three, two, one. Notice they're all around the same position. We're just changing it up a little bit, right? The swing, the deadlift, the sumo deadlift, right? It's still that hinge. That's what that backside does, that shoulder. I mean that shoulder. <laughs> those glutes and those hamstrings. Right there, down. Pop it open. Come on, 10 more seconds. Control it, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. One more set, adjust the weight if you need to. If you're feeling it in your low back, drop that weight. Just can't quite handle that yet. Here we go, three, two, one. Okay, this is our last weighted activity. The rest are going to be body weight activities. They also are gonna be just single-sided, all down on the mat against gravity. Okay, that's what we got next. That means we're doing two rounds on one side. So yes, it's body weight. Doesn't mean it's easier, it just means it's different. Down, hinge down, pop that open. 15 more seconds. Nice work, stay controlled, pop that open. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Okay, we're going down on the ground. Grab that mat. We're gonna do a single leg bridge. Okay, so we're going down in that bridge position. Okay, and we're gonna pop open, squeeze those glutes, give me a nice neutral position, and then control that down. I don't flop it down, control it down. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stagger that weight and that right, that leg that's back is the one that's gonna move. So if I have my right leg back, I'm gonna use my right side, but I'm still going straight up and back down. Ready, try this with me in three, two, one, lift up and squeeze. Control that down. Boom, up, control. Controlling it both directions, right? I'm not just letting go, I'm keeping that core engaged. I'm getting that nice neutral position. Squeeze that glute at the top. Control that back down, okay? Lift, squeeze, control. Nice work, come on. Control that, baby. You're halfway there. You're over halfway, how about that? <laughs> okay, here we go. Squeeze at the top. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We've got one more time on this side. How's that sound? I know, you're excited, right? <laughs> Here we go, in three, two, one. Lift up and squeeze, control that down. And then after this, guess what? We got the other side. Squeeze at the top, and come back down. Nice and squeeze, control it down, both directions. Okay, really feel that glute squeeze. You can also just, if you wanna make it more challenging, cross that foot over. Keep that leg up, but the staggered position is a great place to start to really keep that balance. Okay, here we go. Let's finish here for four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're doing the same thing. We're gonna just stagger the other side. Woo! I think I'm gonna look the other way. So I have that. Okay. Nice and controlled. Staggering that position. Left side. Okay, and you're reaching up and you're not flopping down, right? Controlling it both directions. And if you're staggering, like 80 to 90% should be working on that side, okay? Let's go here in three, two, one. Lift up and squeeze and back down. That side should just be there for a touch balance. That's it, hardly any weight. Okay, you're still going straight up and down, 
but you're just using one side. This is a strong core position. Of course, our glutes and our hamstrings are part of our core, so we're working those deep hip muscles as well. Okay, so that is technically core, but we're using our abs also, right, to lift and encourage at that top, controlling that back down. Come on, you got 10 more seconds. Nice work, here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. One more time on this side. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go, in three, two, one. Lift up and squeeze, and back down. Okay, we're gonna go to our hands and knees next. If for some reason that is a bothering position, I will show you how to do everything standing. You might want something nearby for balance, but that's what we're gonna work on next. Boom, up, back down. Come on, controlling it both directions. Squeeze at the top, don't get lazy. Controlling that down, don't let that flop. It's not about speed, it's about control. 10 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're gonna go to um, that quadruped position, that hands and knees. Okay, and we're gonna take that foot and we're gonna flex it. And then we're gonna take that heel and we're gonna go up towards the ceiling. We're gonna drive that heel to the ceiling and squeeze. If you can't be on your hands and knees, you can hold on and we can do like we did before, drive that heel back and squeeze, okay? I just wanna make sure you're not missing out. Here we go in three, two, one. Keep those hips facing the ground, drive that heel towards the ceiling, squeeze that glute. Okay, drive and down. Push through that heel and yes, two times on this side and squeeze. Nice and controlled, boom and back. You got this, come on, 15 more seconds just like this. Five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Guess what? One more time on this side. Oh yeah, gonna burn that baby out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Drive that up and back down. Push through that heel, okay? You're driving from that heel, pushing it right up towards that ceiling and back down. Boom, and back. After this, we get to even ourselves out and do the other side. <laughs> Oh yeah, come on, controlling that both direction. Push that up and back down. Come on, boom, and back. 15 more seconds. Finish here, come on, you got this. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. You need to stretch that glue out. Oh yeah, it's working that baby, isn't it? Woo, yes, okay. We got the same thing, but this time we're doing the other side. Okay, again, I don't want those hips rocking, I want them facing the ground. You're keeping that foot flexed and you're driving through that heel to squeeze that glute, okay? Same idea, have those hands underneath those shoulders or if you're standing, touching base so you keep that balance. Here we go, we've got three, two, one. Drive that up and back down. Push through that heel, okay, nice, good. Mo motion, boom, and back. Really feel that glute squeeze and activate. Okay, we activated that glute at the beginning because the glutes are a very powerful muscle, but they like to be lazy. So we have to kind of wake them up and be like, hello, you need to work. They are very, very powerful. When we use our glutes correctly, man, we really reduce back issues. So we want to make sure we're getting a nice, strong glute, activating it correctly. Okay, let's finish here. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest one more time on this side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Drive that heel toward the ceiling, okay? Push through that heel, activate that glute. Okay, we're gonna do a similar activity, except we're gonna drive our leg out to the side next. Again, I will show you how you can do that standing if you don't want to be on your hands and knees. 
I know not everyone's there, that's okay. Drive that heel and back down. Boom, and back. Squeeze that glute, I know it's getting tired. <laughs> and actually we're using our other side, glute, to stabilize us and keep us upright and strong in this position. Here we go, finish for three, two, one, and rest, nice job. Okay, so this time, back to those hands and knees, and we're gonna lift that out to the side and back. I'm not rotating up at all, okay? It's coming, I'm just lifting straight out. It's not necessarily a high lift, just enough to squeeze that glute. If you're standing, okay, knees bent, you're lifting right out to the side and back, okay? Whew. Let's rock this, okay? In three, two, one. This is all we got. Two on each side. Lift and squeeze. Squeeze that glute back. Okay, later on, if you wanna make this more challenging, you can put like a light dumbbell in there and do these activities with a dumbbell, okay? Giving you more resistance. You can also do a glute band around your um, thighs. Give that resistance, okay? Right now, I just want you to focus on really controlling the movement, and then you build from there. 15 more seconds. Squeeze that glute and back down. We're doing a long enough time that it's really activating that and fatiguing it just with the nice, good body weight. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, one more time on this side, and then it's done. Okay? You got that? This is great. Here we go. In three, <laughs> two, one, oh, squeeze back down oh yeah I know it's not easy it's challenging that's for a reason right we don't get better if it's not challenging squeeze that glute picture squeezing it the more we picture what we're activating the better that contraction is the more effective we're gonna be come on you're halfway there nice and controlled doesn't have to be real high just enough that you get that nice good activation squeeze Come on, 10 more seconds. Stay focused, go all the way to that buzzer. Don't shortchange yourself. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, this is it. This is all we got, okay? We love it. We're starting to see that finish line, right? Same idea, making sure we're staying nice and focused here and we're just lifting from that hip. No twisting and opening up those hips. Staying nice and focused right there on the ground. Or if you're standing, you're staying nice and tall and lifting to the side, okay? Here we go, last, last activity. We still got this, here we go. In three, two, one, lift and squeeze, boom. Right there. Squeeze that out and bring it back down. Boom, and back. Oh yeah. Nice job, squeeze and back down, you got this. You're doing awesome. Boom, and back. 15 more seconds. Squeeze that at the top, bring it back down. Oh, controlling it both directions. Don't let that flop. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest one more time. This is all we've got, okay? 40 seconds of work, so got this. Then our favorite part, the cool down. In three, two, one, up, and squeeze, bring it back down. Nice work, come on, stay focused, all the way to that buzzer. Halfway there, come on, you got this, you're, you're finishing strong. Okay, nice work today. It's hard when we do a single muscle group, right? Woo, really fatiguing that out. 10 more seconds. Boom, and back. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest right here. Child's pose, let that sink out. Oh, that feels so good, getting that low back. Letting the glute act, oh yeah. You got what I'm saying. Roll that to the side, back. Okay, we're gonna cross that leg over and then walk that up until you get a nice, good stretch right there. Oh yeah, opening up that hip. Okay, then walk that down and pull that across. Okay, now let's switch sides. Okay, and then you're gonna walk that up. Nice, good. If these feel tight, come back to them later today. 
Okay, and throughout the day, you can do this one sitting in a chair. It's a great activity. I do it all the time to keep my hip mobility. Pull that across. Oh yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna keep our knees straight and our feet up. We're gonna lift up and we're gonna hinge down from our hips and come forward. Now, it's okay if you don't touch your toes, but I don't want it rounded here. That's, that's getting a good low back. We're getting those hamstrings, okay? We work those hamstrings a lot. I know we're focusing on that glute. They attach right up there underneath. Relax that, and one more time. Hinge forward, right there. Nice work. Oh yeah, and we're gonna come up. We're gonna do a nice good butterfly. Pull that to you. Open up that chest. I'm gonna look this way. Okay, nice and controlled. Pulling that right up towards that chest. Open up those hips. Finish here. Woo! Yeah, we've got three. Two, one, high five for rocking that way to go. Now make sure you're drinking some water, grabbing some high quality protein to rebuild and recover from what we just did. And then, have a great day. <laughs> hey, did you love that video? Did you know this is part of a series? It's my begin series. It's designed for those who are beginning or beginning again and need to slow things down. I wanna make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you never miss what's coming up and you can hit the entire series. This is designed for you. This is to help you pursue that excellence and really build that body up. When you're done with the Begin series, join in on the other series. You're gonna be feeling right along with the rest of us. I wanna make sure that you realize it's about being the best version of you. It's not about pacing with me, it's about pacing with you. It's about pushing yourself wherever you're at, pushing that and continually getting better. I'm here to help you and encourage you. So make sure we're friends and on social media so you can always see some tips and connection. Even if you need some extra coaching, I love helping women feel the best version of themselves. So again, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and then have a great day.